the most important blood test that most people have never had before. This is a blood test that will diagnose insulin resistance years before it shows up on the medical establishment blood tests. I've talked about this many times before, and I cannot believe the level of ignorance currently from the medical profession and the medical establishment. What blood test am I talking about? I'm talking about a fasting insulin level. Isn't it amazing? If you ask most establishment doctors out there today, they will kind of look at you completely baffled, almost with their eyes crossed. What are you talking about? Huh? What is a fasting insulin level? And that is because they are at least 15 years behind right now on the devastation of insulin resistance and how important it is to test a fasting insulin level and the test that can be done afterwards called HOMA IR. Hopefully, many of you are already clued in with this test, but let me explain to you why it's so important because the standard medical establishment blood tests for insulin resistance are a fasting glucose and a HbA1c. Fair enough, I'm not saying those tests are useless, but by the time HbA1c actually starts to go up, people have been sick for years, often a decade or more. And I find it so interesting because I will talk to many people out there who clearly are out of shape, they're heading in the wrong direction, they've sadly got terrible lifestyle habits, and they will tell me, oh, our doctor told us everything is okay. My HbA1c is fine. And I will often end up doing a fasting insulin level on these people. And let's back up a little bit. Why is fasting insulin so important? Because when people are insulin resistant, basically most of the time their body is getting pounded, sadly, with a suboptimal lifestyle, too many carbs, sugars, processed foods, and their insulin levels are spiking unbelievably high. So they will have high circulating fasting insulin levels. And the problem with insulin, which is a natural hormone secreted by the pancreas, it's very pro-inflammatory and it promotes fat storage. That's why insulin resistance is linked so closely with being overweight. Often the two invariably go together. So people will have these high fasting insulin levels. So the way to do this test is to get a fasting insulin level at the same time as a fasting glucose level. And from that, you can calculate the HOMA IR homeostatic model assessment of insulin resistance. And I'll include an online calculator down below. And here's the interesting thing. A lot of these people who will say, oh, my doctor just told me that my HbA1c is normal. I will check the HOMA IR and it will absolutely be through the roof. It will be ridiculously elevated. And I will say, see, everything isn't okay. Your body is under extreme stress from high fasting insulin levels and insulin resistance and all of the effects that's going to have on your cells and mitochondria. So what level do you want the HOMA IR to be? Well, you want the number to be as close to one as possible. As it starts getting up towards two, it starts to indicate insulin resistance. And if you calculate this number in somebody with type 2 diabetes, it will be really high. It will be three, four. I saw somebody the other day whose HOMA IR was well over 10 because they were so significantly insulin resistant. And of course, the medical establishment now is so focused on, oh, let's give more medications and injections. I mean, think about this. Somebody with type 2 diabetes that is advanced will be prescribed insulin. This is somebody with insulin levels which are already high. Name one other circumstance in life or in science where the philosophy is you have too much of something which is causing damage. Oh, let's just give more of it because they're chasing numbers. The medical establishment is simply chasing their tails. Have you ever seen those cats who start chasing their tails just going round and round? And this is why actually the situation was actually better 100 years ago because if anybody had type 2 diabetes, which was extremely rare, their doctor would say to them, you have to cut back on carbs and sugars. Otherwise, you are literally going to die. And of course, patients had very little other choice. So they would have to make that change, lose weight, and reverse their insulin resistance. But nowadays, with the big pharma narrative, which is completely fake, 
you can't treat a lifestyle disease with medications when you're pouring junk in at the other end. And the medical establishment has perpetuated this belief that, oh, it's no big deal to get severe insulin resistance, pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes, when your cells every day are being so badly damaged. Oh, we'll just prescribe a pill to fix a number. But fixing the number doesn't fix the inflammation. That's why every single year, people are now getting sicker and sicker. And now life expectancy is actually decreasing in many countries, including the USA and UK. This is all going to be accelerated with what's happened over the last several years. And it's so very sad. And it doesn't help that the medical establishment has almost zero understanding of insulin resistance. I repeat, prediabetes and type 2 diabetes is extreme carbohydrate intolerance. You cannot really treat that with medications. You may fix a number, but the only way is to deal with it upstream. And because doctors are not invested by any stretch of the imagination in actually having a massive public health campaign and saying, people need to fix this. And of course, a lot of people might not listen, but they listened with smoking when the medical establishment went all in in the 1970s and told a population where three quarters of people smoked, you have to stop smoking. People did listen. People listened during the pandemic when doctors were saying you have to lock down or else. Governments were also listening to that advice, sadly. But this is the problem that we have, a complete ignorance of the biggest pandemic the world has ever seen. I know the word pandemic usually is associated with infectious diseases, but in some ways, this is like a social contagion as well. Sadly, hundreds of millions of people have lost complete control of their health. This narrative has spread that people sadly can do whatever they want with their bodies and Big Pharma and the medical establishment will have an answer. And it's absolutely devastating. We're only at the tip of the iceberg. Wait 10 to 15 years. And all of these youngsters, teenagers, people in their 20s who have insulin resistance, it is going to be an avalanche of unimaginable proportions. And I shudder to even think about this. I can't believe more doctors aren't waking up in a cold sweat about how bad this situation is. But going back to the main topic of this video, fasting insulin level with a fasting glucose level drawn at the same time will enable calculation of the HOMA IR. And if anybody is so inclined, that is your chance to make lifestyle changes so that you don't get sick and don't get plugged into the medical industrial complex for the rest of your life with constant doctor visits, constant pills, procedures, injections. Life is short. Life is unpredictable. Why would you want to throw this into the mix as well? It's a big own goal. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Feel free to leave a comment down below. I enjoy hearing from you. Check in the links down below for my website and my MetThrive 30-Day Health Reset Natural Fat Loss and Insulin Resistance Reversal Program. We've helped a lot of people with that. And there is a special section as well for anybody over the age of 60. Also in the links down below, our natural health and well-being store, ohiwellness.com. If you're in the USA, North America, ohiwellness.co. If you're in the UK, Europe, if you enjoyed this video, you will also enjoy this video that I'm about to link on understanding insulin resistance. Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe button for more similar videos in the future. Do share with anyone else who may benefit and we will speak again very soon.